IBC Hunting is brought to you by Italian Sporting Goods, Kafaru International, Bear Paw Taxidermy, and these fine sponsors. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm going to cruise these ridges and then I get some, uh, some really good views of uh, some east facing slopes over here. There's uh, three or four really good ones, quite a bit of real estate. So I'm just going to get to the high land on this esker and then, uh, and then just work the glass for a couple hours. So uh, it's, uh, it's all about just punch hikes and, uh, and then uh, patience with some glass. Should get it done here. Kind of see something over on that slope right now, so we'll uh, we'll give her a look here. Well, guys, we made it up here to the top. Um, it's a great view. Almost 360 degrees is glassable right now. It, even with the bright sun over to the east. This really is my favorite part of solo hunting. Is just sitting in and glassing and you know ultimately you know pushing yourself a little bit. It takes a bit to get used to. You know the sleeping alone out in bear country, sometimes grizzly country. This isn't particularly uh, heavy grizzly. Oh. Also warm. Yeah, not particularly heavy grizzly country, but uh, you know, there's a lot of bears, a lot of wildlife through here. A lot of birds. I'm pretty sure you can hear the birds all around me here, it's it's amazing. So hopefully, with a little bit of luck, um, we can get something coming out here. Good time of year for fawn calls. Definitely. It's kind of a bowl here too, so it kind of echoed around. Some upper cliffs there. Okay, don't get hot tips very often, so uh, I thought I'd take advantage of this one. So I'm going to pack up camp and uh, get a hike back out of here and then uh, away we go. Fantastic area. It edges the, the rangeland all down below me. So I'm going to go see if I can sneak down through the trees and uh, have a look in the open fields there. It, uh, there's a good chance, you know, that chocolate and uh, the big blackie didn't go too far. We're going to set up uh, in Hotel Tundra here. Uh, we've seen three bears so far. Uh, it's been a pretty good start, but we used up uh, all the daylight. 
looks uh, lighter on the camera than it actually is right now. It's getting pretty dim. I'm going to get my sleeping mat, throw bed in there, get it set up, and then uh, sit back, relax, and have a fire. Um, throw on some bug dope. The mosquitoes are thick. There's still time. It's still legal right now. We could have a, a bear come out across. There's a, a beautiful spot here, so when I wake up in the morning, I'm definitely going to be able to... Uh, you know, glass this spot as I have my coffee. We'll kick our hikes off right out of here. We'll just head right down and we'll just grid this whole area. Just play the wind. Well, we've got a little bit of rain moving in here, so I've uh, rain geared up. I'm going to continue to head on. The wind had switched for a little bit, so it was a good time to stop, and now the wind's reorganized now that this uh, rain's come in on us here. So uh, we're going to work our way up here and uh, just keep poking around. The rain's passed, so the grass is still super wet. But uh, I'm gonna take the top of my rain jacket off so I don't get sweated out. I just jumped another white tail coming up through here. I just had another white tail in here. They don't love the call like the mule deers do. Mule deer bucks and does, they come to that fawn bleat. Big boars like it too. But, uh, last weekend I called one in. Came circling me. Well, we're going to keep powering on here. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of putting in the time. So it's 5.30, just finished a bite to eat, got geared up, I'm repacked up, got a real strong prevailing wind here as these uh, thunder clouds come through. There's a big finger of bush line down along here that I want to go in uh, and check out. I'm going to skirt along the edge of that and just play the wind. Okay, so I've uh, probably done somewhere between 12 and 15 kilometers hiking today. I've seen a lot of deer, a lot of whitetail, a couple muleys, but the only two bears I seen were right from my camp when I came back for lunch. There's a lot of sign in behind my camp here and a lot of sign up along the tree line off in the distance behind me. So, I'm uh, just going to camp on this spot tonight and uh, hopefully get one here right at camp. So, uh, that's the plan. I, uh, I, I feel like I've put in some work today, so uh, I don't feel bad about uh, being back at camp here at 7 and uh, going to hit the glass hard for the next three hours.
<laughs> Pow. Smoked him. Oh, I think that's a nice bear. Happened pretty quick, but uh, there you go. I think the shot's good. I'll have to look at the footage. But uh, I could see in my scope there that I uh, I smoked them. Yeah, it's uh, we got a dead bear, and that was the target bear that I was after. That was the brown boar. Um, I've seen him a couple times now. We got it done. Let's go and see if we can check him out. Uh, we'll get his gut out and. Uh, and then let him cool there for the night. I want to do a good job because he's going to be getting rugged at uh, bear paw taxidermy. So, John, I got one coming for you. There we go. I'm all geared up. So, uh, got my kill kit. Got everything I need. Let's go. Uh, let's go trail this guy. Down to the river. to leave uh, recovery till the morning I looked at the footage it looks like a good hit I mean he was sort of quartering I waited till he opened up and quartered up there and unless you knock their heart out uh, they don't bleed a lot so I wasn't able to pick any blood up here this evening but uh, you know it's too dark now the bear obviously made it into the trees beside it so I'll wait till uh, morning and then I'll uh, do a full grid search here, see if I can pick some blood up, but you know, really, I, I don't think it's a blood pickup game here, it's going to be a, a grid search and hopefully I'll pick them up because um, it sure would be a shame not to, a crying shame, so I'm, I'm not going to rush this, I'm just going to pick it apart. So it's, he's going to make me work for it, but that's okay. I'm I'm prepared to work for it. So I just lit the fire. Going to have a celebration beer and uh, hit the hay early because uh, got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Let's go get a bear. By get a bear I mean find a bear. By find a bear I mean find the bear. The bear I shot yesterday. Well I've got about an hour and a half in here so far. I'm just going to keep gridding. I've only, I'm gridded really wide just because I had a tight frame on the bear when I shot him so uh, and I got distracted watching the sow run out the other side. I'm doing these strips of about 500 meters long and then I'm moving over about uh, 10 meters, 15 meters and stripping back down. So it's just a matter of time. I'm, I'm sure this bear's fatally hit and I'm sure with this grid search I'm, I'm going to find him. Oh, 
There he is, right down there. Found him. Two and a half hours. We got him though. There he is down by the base of that big fir tree. That is a big boy. Wow, that is a nice bear. That is a super nice bear. Yeah, he's a, all of six feet, I think. Look at the size of the front paws. This is the guy I was after. Target bear down. We got him. kind of Christmas tree. Oh, that's better. Round two. <laughs> 